I remember first hearing a violin at a Nutcracker presentation. I was four years old and I was just captivated by the orchestra pit. I just couldn't stop watching the violins. And so a couple years later, when I was six years old, I was still talking about it, still wanted to play it, and that's when I started lessons. I remember the first night before I started lessons, my mom and I, just the two of us, went out to Music and Arts to get the violin that I was going to rent, and I was so excited. And it felt so special because it was just my mom and me, and it was late at night, so I got to stay past my bedtime and go get my violin. It was just, it was fun. Throughout high school, I had the opportunity to teach different students. Honestly, I just had a love to teach anything, even if it was basketball, coaching. About my senior year, I really narrowed it down to being a violin teacher. I knew that I wanted extra training and specific training um, in string pedagogy. I started playing basketball when I was in third grade, and I really wanted to do that in college, but I knew it was hard to do basketball and music because both of them are so demanding. But coming to Miranatha, I went down to the gym, had a meeting with the athletic director, Rob Thompson, and he told me about several other girls that played college sports but also were music majors. After talking to Coach T, I just knew that this was the place for me because I could do both things that I love. I'm so um, thankful that I had the opportunities in high school to really see that I love teaching. A lot of music majors go with music education and that's very broad but I knew I wanted the violin specifically to teach, have a private studio and that was the route that I chose because of what I love.